Hey, what is going on? Amazing Tech Tutorials here. And in this video, we're going to be starting half hour series uh, on PerkBot. It is a, basically, it's a framework for uh, connecting to the, to a bunch of different IRCs. Uh, in this series, we're going to be using Twitch, as you can see in the title. And yeah, basically what PerkBot does, or PIRC bot, whatever you uh, choose to call it, it's basically, uh, it, it says right here, it's basically a Java framework for writing IRC bots very quickly and easily. Uh, because if you were to make this completely from scratch, you would have to uh, make a bunch of functions that connect to the IRC, that get all of the information that you need. This just saves us a lot of time uh, and uh, gives us all of uh, those awesome uh, methods or functions that uh, have all the good stuff in them. So. Yeah, that's why we're using that. Uh, you will need Eclipse IDE. Um, you can get it at eclipse.org slash downloads. Uh, get this one right here, Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. Uh, I'll leave a link to this in the description, including all of the further download links in this video, including PerkBot. You will also need to download PerkBot 1.5.0. Now this file will download in a .zip format. So you need Renoir to open this, and you can get that at rarlab.com. I will leave a link to that in the description, so you can go and download Renoir to open that file. And then once you have that, you just want to open it, and then you just want to go and, uh, you can either, uh, just, you can just drag, uh, and drop to your desktop, or you can click extract, and go to your location, and just, uh, click OK. Uh, I already have it. I have it. No, 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 no. I have it. Uh, have it right here. So once you have all of those, that's pretty much all you need. For right now, I'm just gonna uh, bring this over to my other monitor. All right. So now we're just going to go into Eclipse and just ignore this project for right now. That's a bot that I'm actually working on. Uh, out of this project so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, right click in the package explorer uh, and I'm just going to go to new and Java project now keep in mind this isn't going to be a Java tutorial so I won't be going all over the all over the stuff I do in this series uh, for Java uh, some stuff I will not a lot of it so just be aware of that so what we're gonna call this project, or I'm gonna just gonna call this project uh, uh, Twitch Bot Series. You can call this whatever you want. All right. So now in here we're going to add the Perk Bot, so we can access all those awesome uh, functions. So we're going to right click on uh, our project that we just created, which is Twitch Bot Series, and then we're gonna go to Build Path and add external archives and then you want to go to wherever your uh to wherever you extracted your perkbot folder mine is in development uh perkbot 1.5.0 and you're just going to uh double click on the executable uh jar file uh, perkbot.jar and then that'll import it and what this does is inside of that jar there's basically a bunch of classes uh, as you can see, this package right here contains all of these classes. Uh, for example, perk.class. This contains the uh, uh, like the connect method. Uh, it contains all of the good stuff that we need to do this. So I'm not going to go over all of those classes just because uh, it's not completely necessary. But let's uh, get right into uh, making our bot. So I'm going to right click on source known as src and then i'm going to go to new and class and then right here i'm just going to call this uh let's call this well let, let's call this bot and then finish so what we need to do is we need to uh, uh basically import all of these classes so we can use them so what we're going to do is we're going to do uh import org Jivel.perkbot. Uh, that basically just goes in the reference libraries and it just grabs all of these classes. And the reason why we have an asterisk here 
is it gets all of these in this package. If you were to uh, just grab one class, uh, then we would have to do it for all of them, and uh, it'll it just a lot uh, neater. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to do extends perkbot, and then in here we're going to do a uh, a public bot method, and then we're going to do a uh, this dot set name. Uh, this will be your Twitch username that you're using for the bot. I do recommend creating a new account. Uh, let's say uh, you get banned on a channel. If you do send it to a channel that's not yours, which you can do, uh, then if you get banned and you want to watch that person, you have to create a whole new account. Uh, so I recommend just creating a new account. Uh, mine is Toucan for Life. In all of these videos, I will be making a new account. Uh, just so nobody accesses them because you, uh, we will be getting the auth code to connect to the account basically as a password. Uh, and if someone gets that, which I'll be showing in the video, uh, so yeah, I'll just have to create a new one each time. And now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go and hang on, just let me look at this real quick, okay. So here, we're just going to create a new class. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna right click on source again, and we're gonna go new class. And in here, let's call this config. This is basically gonna hold all of our variables, configuration, uh, connecting, defining the bot, uh, that kind of stuff like that. And here we're gonna do a, uh, a public static Oops, it's about that wrong. Static void main. And in here we're going to pass it a, a, a array of strings uh, for the argument. So we're gonna do string args. And then we're going to do throws exception. All right, so here we're going to now define the boss. So I'm just going to make a comma. So I'm gonna do Twitch bot bot equals new Twitch bot. Okay, there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go set verbose, and we're just gonna set that to true. Okay, and now we're going to go bot dot connect, and let's go in here and let's go irc dot twitch dot tv. And then we're going to do a comma right here. And then we're going to put the Twitch port, which is 6667, comma. And then we're going to put the OAuth, which we can get at twitchapps.com. And then you go to a TMI IRC OAuth generator. I'll leave a link to this download in the, or it's not a download. I'll just leave a link to this in the description so you can go and get your, uh, your OAuth code for the bot to connect to the account. Uh, you're going to be... You're gonna need to be logged into the account that you want uh, as the bot in twitch.com. And then you're gonna connect to Twitch. And then here it is. So I'm just going to copy this. And then I'm gonna use this. All right, there we go. So now we just have to tell it to join the channel. So I'm gonna do bot.join channel. Now, there has to be a hashtag right here in front of the channel name. Let's say the channel name is Bob. Uh, I don't have a channel name yet. I'll have to go and grab one real quick. I'm not going to be using mine. I probably should, but I'm not going to be. Uh, I'll probably just blur out his, his username. Maybe I'm not. I'm not quite sure. But instead of having to retype this uh, a few times, I'm going to make a variable for it. So I'm going to go public string uh, let's just call this channel uh, let's say uh, hmm. well I'll just leave it as that for now make sure you put that hashtag so it uh, does that what's it going to be uh, the reason why I removed the public is because we don't need it right now because it nothing is trying to access it um, but we will uh, have to add that back in a little. 
So anyways, that's it for this video. Uh, in the next episode, we will be uh, uh, quickly fixing this. And then we will be uh, detecting messages uh, that are sent. And then we can reply to those. We can uh, like send a message or... Uh, Basically, there's functions in uh, within Perkbot that allow you to do a a method that says uh basically when a user gets operator status or when he uh, gets his operator status taken away or when they get banned or kicked, do this. So that's what we'll be doing in the next video. Maybe not all of those, but uh, a lot of those. And so yeah, that's basically it. If you guys did enjoy, remember to subscribe if this helped you in any way at all, and remember to like the video. Uh, so we can get more people uh, to here. Oops, and I just noticed right now that I actually spelled channel wrong, so make sure you fix that if you made the mistake that I did. So see you guys next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.